Do you have a folder on your computer full of music from days gone by? Maybe you were born in the 80s and that's how you listen to music up until now. You have MP3s, FLAC files, and everything like that. Do you want to know how to bring them to iTunes or Spotify or Tidal or anything like that? Well, Suboptimal Jedi here is going to show you how. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open the, a web page and search for FUBAR 2000. Now this is a player for computers. Uh, it works on Mac the same way it does on Windows. And it's for basically playing music offline. So we're going to use this to basically drag that playlist of the files we have on the local drive and bring those playlists to Spotify or maybe iTunes. So I'm just going to go to download here. And when you go to download, you'll see this um, download link. Click on it until it downloads. So now it's done. We're going to open it. We're going to install it. Standard installation. Yes, we're going to do that. Install, install. There we are, and we're going to run it. Now, you're greeted with this quick setup page. This is a very bare bones uh, player. You get to customize it any way you like. This is an amazing music player for offline though. But what we're focusing on today is online listening. So you can listen to your music on the bus or train or wherever you would like to do that on a holiday. So I'm just going to click on any one of these really. I like this one most, so I'm just going to press OK there. And it's going to search on your computer for music and things like that. But we're just going to concentrate on this default playlist. So before we start anything, we're just going to close this down and go to components here. And in components, we scroll way down here and could also search for text and we go down 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 and here we see text tools 1.0.5 now by the time you watch this video i don't know what version is up but anyone will do okay so we're going to download this and we're going to open it and it's got this dll file so we are going to go to our C drive where we installed FUBAR and we're going to go into it and there's this folder called components. We're going to just drag this DLL file right into components and that's all we need to do to install that component for FUBAR. So let's close this and run FUBAR. There we go. So now Where's your music? Let's go to that folder. I'm going to use a small selection of my favorite songs. I'm just going to drag and drop them into this playlist. And what it does is it brings, uh, it shows all the songs. I can play them here. That's all well and good. And sometimes you might have songs which don't have proper naming. What you can do is right click and you can go to tagging get tags from freedb and it'll go through your songs and basically clean them up these are flac files mp3 files work better in this regard but then you'll have the proper names and sometimes even album art for these things but we need some to do something else here so we're going to right click and we're going to go to utilities, text tools, the component that we just installed, and we are going to go to advanced. Now, you'll get greeted with another nerdy box. Um, we're just gonna leave that. We're gonna have percentage, okay? Artist, artist, right? Percentage, space, minus space, dash, however you like to uh, call it. Again, 
uh, percentage, title, percentage. So as you can see, down here, we're already updated and we've got the artist and right after that, the song name. We can just copy this and it'll copy this whole text down here. We're just gonna keep this open and we're gonna go to another website. So this website is called Tune My Music. Now Tune My Music is uh, a service that they allow you to transfer over 1,000 songs, I think, for free. Just make an account and you just have to connect um, your Spotify or your, you know, Apple Music or Tidal or Amazon Music, wherever you want to take these musics to, just connect it here. So let's start. So when we start, it says, where do you want to bring your music from? So if you have a playlist on Spotify you want to bring to, let's say, Apple Music, you can do that as well. But right now we want this free text. So we see that free text. You just have to click here, type some mumbo jumbo and then delete it and then paste. So when we copied this uh, text here, all we're going to do is go here and paste it here. Really easy, right? So we're going to say convert song list. So let's convert song list. And now you can see that it, it found these music. Um, wow, cool. Look at that, you know? And if, if some of these songs it doesn't recognize, it'll just draw an X next to it. Maybe they don't find it or whatever. But anyway, let's select all these songs by selecting this and select the destination now. Now I can take these anywhere I'd like, uh, well, based on what they offer. I'm going to take them to Spotify. So uh, select Spotify and it's going to move these to this new playlist here. Uh, one playlist and let's just say start move. And what it's going to do is going to look for these songs on Spotify and add them to a playlist called my playlist. And then it's done. So now if we go back to your Spotify, I'm going to do a little uh, reload here. And my playlist is right here. So all those songs are now added here and you can play them and have them here. So you haven't really uploaded any of those music onto Spotify. You can still share this playlist with your friends and it'll work. And it's the same for Apple Music and other providers as well. But one thing to be to take note of is some of the music on your computer may not be found on these platforms, especially older music. Uh, what I do recommend you do is save those folders with so much memories in them, but you can transfer their playlist here and listen to most of them on the go. I hope this was helpful. Um, it's not the best uh, outcome. It's the most suboptimal. And thanks for watching. Until another video. Bye.